and also um, hopefully we can uh, get some other folks to watch it if they didn't um, weren't able to join us. Okay, so I'll try to keep this brief. Um, the assignments for this week, uh, we have the social studies and ELA assignment. So if I'm going in and, and opening up my assignments here, I can see that in ELA, we have something called our history project. And this is something put on by Scholastic, but we're gonna kind of take it over and make it our own. And essentially what uh, you need to do is click on those two links there. And I also did a video, you can watch the video. But this gives you an idea. Notice here how I'm zooming in on the PDF. Usually a good idea or else they're too small. But the idea is we're gonna create kind of a scrapbook, if you will. Will it be posted on Scholastic? Only if you ask me to. I will not post your stuff on Scholastic without your permission. Okay, so um, only with your permission. All right. Um, and they give you nine options. Uh, so you can do an observation, a field journal, you can write a, a news story, keep a kindness list, put yourself in someone else's shoes and write that person a letter, be a photojournalist, write a poem or song, document your daily routines and create a picture book or graphic novel, create a timeline, record digital trends, all these things. Uh, you just choose one or you can combine them. And uh, what we're gonna do is take everyone's work and I'm gonna put it together in a little booklet and I'll, I'll print that for you guys. Um, and it will probably not be till the fall, but you'll have this kind of this piece of history uh, that um, you'll be able to take with you uh, from this time period in our lives. And so you wanna create something that you're proud of, uh, that you will be proud of other people seeing. Um, and again, I'm not gonna share it with Scholastic. This is just for us, for our class, our seventh grade. There's a truck coming up right here, so it's gonna be a little loud here for a second, but um, so forgive the noise. Um, but anyway, so you got your three links and I posted them in the instructions and also down under the materials. So you can click on either one of those. Are there any questions about your ELA assignment this week? And I will be quiet for about one minute. You can post those questions in the chat or you can post or you can unmute and ask me. I'll try to hear you over the FedEx truck and my dogs that are such good barkers. Their names are Bricks and Macy. They're black labs and they are expert escapes escape artists and love to go over to the field next to us and dig holes. They also love to dig holes in our our farm too. It's a uh, it's frustrating. All right, I don't see any questions popping up. I didn't see anyone unmute and, and try to interrupt me. So I'm gonna move on to social studies. All right, so if we look at social studies, I go over to Washington State History. This, by the way, applies if you have Mrs. Fulton as well. It's the same thing, we do the same assignments. And the biggest thing that I wanted to point out with social studies, guys, is I am fully aware that the text that I'm assigning you is long and hard. OK, it's a challenging text and it has like 10 pages, which is hard in any sort of scenario. Um, but especially if you're in a learning from home type of scenario, that can be very challenging for you. And so that's the first thing I wanted to recognize. And with that in mind, I want to remind you that all we're looking for is that you work 30 minutes a day on each class, 30 minutes a day. And once you get done with the week, so that's about two and a half hours per class, you're, you're done. Just churn in what you got. Even if you didn't get finished, churn it in. You are not required to go over that 30 minute uh, time allotment per day. And in fact, we encourage you not to just for everyone's sanity and and uh, 
an ability to get through this time period. So if you don't get done with the social studies assignment, that's fine. Churn in what you have and then just include a little note either to Mrs. Fulton or myself saying, hey, I tried. Here's what I got done. I didn't get this done. And then tell us a little bit about what was hard. Like, why was it challenging? Why didn't you get it done? And that's not a we're not. But isn't it graded? Yes, kind of. And. Um, I'm grading them with compassion to your time. OK, and so if you don't get all the way finished, don't worry too much about your grade. Just again, send us a note saying, hey, I didn't get done, but I did put in my two and a half hours. This is what I got done. I found this and this hard about it and write us that note and you'll be fine. OK, um, and, and Mrs. Fulton is on board with this, too. We all are. So don't worry so much about your grade. Just give it your best shot and, and, and turn in what you got at the end of the week. OK. Um, that being said, do try to follow the schedule. So on Monday today, I just want you to skim through the text. You know, look at the subtitles, look at the uh, the images, read the captions. Really important, of course, that you zoom in. So notice how I'm zooming in here without zooming in. It's going to be real hard to read. OK, but go through, just kind of skim the text, look at the pictures, read the captions. That's going to set you up as a, with a broad overview of the text. And then tomorrow I want you to read five of those pages or six, it looks like. OK, and then just choose one question from the question set. The question set is super long. It is so long. Look at all these questions. I want you to choose one question. That's it. All right. And just do that. And then on Wednesday, finish the text and do another question. So that's only a total of two questions that you're answering. Thursday, I do want you to spend some time just creating something for me. So look over the questions and and uh, I got to find. Uh oh, why did this come here? Move. Uh, um, and find something that you can create a, you know, draw a picture about. Or like how many Japanese Americans enlisted to fight for the United States during World War II? I can imagine a little comic strip that you could do about that. Um, or maybe a quick Adobe Spark video or a quick PowerPoint or something. But again, keeping it within that 30 minute allotment. Don't go over those 30 minutes per day. OK, so again, I understand that this is a lot and I wanted to remind you. Oh, and hey, oh, remember, did you guys know that there's no school Friday? No school Friday. All right, so that means this week you're actually only working for two hours on each class. So 30 minutes a day times four days. That's a total of two hours. So you might even get less done. That is OK. Again, just turn in what you got and send us a note about what um, it is you didn't do and what was challenging. OK. Um, I think that was mostly what I wanted to say. Uh, I did a, a little video on that as well. Um, the vocab I'm putting in your hands this week. Go ahead and just look up what you need to look up. Be a self motivated learner. <sighs> All right, that's my spiel, everybody. Um, I'll go ahead and stop now for questions. If you have any questions, you can type them in the chat. OK. So Lily's asking, read the text and then answer one question per day. Yeah. Um, one question on Tuesday and one question on Wednesday. All right. And so that's a total of two questions that you need to answer. And I think there was like what? Nine questions on there. Ten questions. So you're only answering two out of the ten and then choosing one more just to kind of inspire you to create something small um, that's a little bit different than typing out an answer. I want you to kind of try to um, expand your um, creative options there as well.
So Lily, a to total of two questions. How many parts are there? Only two. Um, so this is the last part of Japanese incarceration. Next week, I'm going to ask you, well, I got to kind of figure out how we're going to do it next week. But um, essentially, I want you to start thinking about was the United States justified in locking up all these Japanese Americans? 120,000 Japanese Americans were, were locked up. And was this the right move by uh, the United States government? Again, this happened in 1941 through 1945. This was, you know, 60 years ago. Uh, but that was a huge step by the U.S. government. And, and, and I think we need to still be assessing whether or not it was the right move, especially as we move forward. And we're going to have other wars, other conflicts, and other situations where people are very afraid. And what limits do we want to put on our government in those situations so that people's rights are protected? If we were doing this in the classroom, we would be going really deep into the 14th Amendment. We'd be talking about Fifth Amendment rights and due process. We can't really do that uh, this year. That's OK. Um, but I'll try to put together something next week uh, where you start to answer this question of whether or not the United States made the right decision. Um, and I'm still working on that on my end, how that's going to look for online learning. OK, so there's a two reading parts. You got the second one this week. And then there's going to be some sort of assessment next week where you create your own answer. Does that, does that answer your question, Shana? Awesome. All right, everybody. Um, I, I, I do have a, a request of you, uh, and that is uh, continue to reach out to your classmates. If they are not online, not doing what they need to be doing through Teams, encourage them to do that. Um, encourage them to reach out to their teachers if they have questions. We are so here to help. We, are, we want to help. I, as soon as I get a message asking for help, I'm on it as quick as I can because um, I want to be that support system for you. But a lot of students aren't taking advantage of that and so if you know of someone who's struggling or just not quite doing what they need to be doing encourage them to reach out to me and their teachers and and we will do everything we can to help them along i care about you guys i miss you i hope you're doing okay and if you got no questions for me uh that's it and you can feel free to go dropping by My sparkling water, super tasty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you, Mrs. Stack. You're welcome.